So now we have a, a circuit where we set a current through that LED. It's about 10 milliamps of current, but we made this circuit so it can handle relatively high voltages, up to about 15 volts. And uh, commonly, if you use 12 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries, you'll be dealing with uh, like 14.6 volts. So there you can see, it says 30 milliamps of current right there, but that is while it's going through the LED. The LED only has about 10 going through it. You can see when I yank it, now it went down, you know, about 10 milliamps of current, approximately, right there. So that's the main thing. We're wasting a lot of current. Um, when you work with higher voltages than about 5 volts, you start getting more waste in one way or the other uh, when you're using quarter watt components especially. So now I'm going to put a jumper where that LED was. So this is what proves that it's basically a current source. We got, you know, the same amount of current flowing. This isn't as accurate as a multimeter. It's probably borderline 30 milliamps of current. So now, the way we made this uh, current source, that's an NPN bipolar junction transistor. We got a uh, resistor to the emitter. Load is on the collector side. So what that does is set a voltage across the emitter resistor based on the voltage we set here. I have a couple forward bias, just rectifier diodes. So each one of them is going to build up about 0 0.6, 0 0.7 volts, something like that. Um, so there's uh, two of them to get, you know, probably about 1.2 volts approximately at the uh, base right there. Now you need to get current through it and uh, at higher voltages, um, you know, we'll kind of need a uh, higher uh, value resistors right there to keep from getting uh, too warm right there. So I just paralleled them. So that's the equivalent of about 750 ohms right there. But in any case, what it's going to do, it's going to set about 0.6 volts less across the resistor there because you got the base to emitter drop and then that value of the resistor will set the current so now really quickly we're going to look at the two most important voltages of the circuit that's the base voltage right there so that's the voltage built up across these two uh, rectifier dials when we got a fair amount of current flowing through them so it's about uh, 1.4 which uh, we actually expect because it could be you know between 0.6 and 0.7 volts for each of the uh, rectifier dials and there's two of them and uh, so you're going to have twice the voltage. Now we have the uh, voltage across the 75 ohm resistor. That sets the current through this right there. And it looks like uh, 0.861, which is a little bit higher than I expected. Um, but still, you know, kind of within estimation. So there's this circuit that we got. So as I said uh, before, I kind of estimated, you know, maybe 1.2 volts across here. But as you get more current, they build up uh, more voltage. Uh, 0.6 plus 0.6, 1.2 and so on. Um, but in case that uh, you get about half that voltage across the resistor there, which sets the current base on its value. So now we got uh, this voltage across the 75 ohm resistor because we got this wired as an NPN bipolar junction transistor current source. And the way, the reason why I have it wired so weird is because I made it for high uh, voltage up to like uh, 15 volts. And I'm actually just going to drop this real quick and we're going to go to five. So you saw the total current dropped uh, quite significantly right there, 5.6. So, so we got basically the same voltage went down a little bit because currents went down a little bit across the current uh, setting resistor right there um, but the main thing is we saw we got uh, about 15 milliamps of current when I yank the uh, red LED it went down about 10 milliamps of current approximate these are approximate numbers uh, so it went from 15 to 6 right there when it comes to milliamps of current so even though I dropped the voltage in basically a third we had the same amount of current flowing through the load until I yanked the load of course then there was no path for current to flow so now, um, this is an important part of the circuit, but an easy thing to miss. We're looking at the voltage across these two parallel resistors right there. They both have basically 13 volts across them. And that's because we are using 14.6 uh, volts to supply power to the whole circuit. Only about 10 milliamps of current is going through the load right now. We're actually wasting the vast majority of that current. But in any case, here is the circuit there. So we have as we just saw 13 volts across these two resistors we're close to a uh, 15 volts there and uh, that's why when i'm working with 15 volts i uh, figure i'll use at least 1.5 k resistors right there why are they in parallel because i'd rather have a, a 750 um uh, basically ohm resistor right there i think that math adds up but in any case i want half the resistance there so i get twice the current going through these leds and building up the voltage right there so that's why I used it like that. Again, this is an NPN bipolar junction transistor current source circuit.
So now we're actually going to measure the uh, current through this uh, current source. Um, there's no current because there's no path. The path has to go through the meter right there. So we estimated about 10 milliamps of current. It's going to change a little bit, but it's going to hold uh, fairly steady right there. And uh, that is with uh, the LED right there as a load. I'm going to yank the LED and um, we have circuitry limiting current. It's a current source and I move this uh, down there. And there you can see it's the same uh, current. It's just making it a little bit harder for the transistor. So I'll kind of zoom in there. Um, so now that is with uh, basically uh, 15 uh, volts of uh, current. Now you're going to see current drop rapidly as I get closer to 5 volts. We're not going to draw this out. This is a short. But there you can see it's still about 10 milliamps of current. So all that other uh, current was basically other circuitry. Other than this will have slight uh, variations.